It was 1989. The U.S. Gymnastics world revolved around Florida native Brandy Johnson. After returning for the 1988 Summer Olympics as the United States top all-around finisher, she swept through a score of national and international competitions, displaying the determination and drive of a true champion. Brandy collected the all-around title at the American Cup, as well as sweeping five gold medals at the International Tour of Champions in Cottbus, East Germany. Add those accomplishments to all-around victories at the USA versus USSR Challenge and last year's U.S. Championships. She entered last year's Worlds as America's brightest hope and came home with a silver medal in the vault. But that was a year ago. Brandy has battled back through a series of injuries, finishing a disappointing 22nd in March's American Cup competition, and many have questioned if she's lost her drive. My goal at first when I started gymnastics was to compete in the 88 Olympics, which I did. I made that goal, and the year after I was on such a high, you know, I didn't know what to expect, and I just kept competing, and I set my goals for that year, and I've just been taking it a year at a time right now. This year, Brandy has been taking up subjects other than gymnastics. She has enjoyed life in the spotlight and led her name to some commercial endorsements. I can keep up with the big guys, too. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, you think you can teach me one of those flips? Milk. It does a body good. As the trophy collection illustrates, she has been outstanding. But outside interest, including spending time with her boyfriend and enjoying the Florida sun, have contributed to her dropping out of the spotlight. She is no longer the only gymnast to watch at these championships. She faltered in the all-around optionals and failed to defend her title, finishing a disappointing third. As long as you're having fun in what you're doing and you want to continue to compete, it doesn't matter if you're number one or number four, as long as you're doing the best that you can do. And that gives you a challenge, even if you are number four, that you want to be number one again. As recent history illustrates, success in American gymnastics is short-lived and aimed at youth. Both all-around national champions prior to Brandy are no longer involved in the sport. Christy Phillips went through a growth spurt and was unable to adjust to her new body. 1988 Olympic balance beam bronze medalist Phoebe Mills decided to retire at 16 to resume what she labeled a normal teenage life. When I was with, training with Phoebe and Christy, I never knew how much pressure was put on them until, you know, I got in their spot. And there is a lot of pressure. The correlations between Phillips and Johnson's body types are evident. But Coach Kevin Brown feels that if handled correctly, Brandy's changes could work to her benefit in the future. There's a stage that they go through. It might be a six-month period of time. Uh, you have to work with them through this growth spurt, let them know that you're concerned about it, and just work with them on a daily basis. So it has to be more of a positive, upbeat type thing and not a uh, nagging negative thing that uh, is something that every female has to go through, and uh, you just you need to know how to deal with it as a coach. Two years doesn't sound like a long time, but for a gymnast, it can be an eternity. My future goal is to stay until 92 and be on the 92 team. But as I said right now, I'm just taking it one year at a time.